Hello everyone. Today I'll talk about TCS offer and salary. So it will be an interesting video. So before that, uh, I just wanted to show you this uh, small uh, Quora post. And this is pretty recent. And a guy uh, told that he offered uh, 42 lakhs LPA from TCS. And uh, he has only 9.4 years of experience. And uh, possibly he is from Bangalore and there will be a lot of comments uh, pretty much uh, it is not convincing because tcs usually at 10 years experience uh, maximum 22 or 25 lakhs uh, salary usually they offered people are there for tcs from longer period of time they are possibly earning 15 13 to 15 lpa even though they are in like you know having 10 years of experience so this post is uh, uh, like slightly fishy, but uh, let us check whether TCS uh, is giving this much of salary or not. So uh, just I will go through our offer letter and then I will conclude my answer. So if you see, this is a TCS offer letter and uh, this is for basically a C3A, which basically assistant consultant kind of a tech lead or project lead role. and. Uh, uh, just wanted to go through the offer so for confidentiality purpose i have removed all those uh, logos and all and if you see uh, they provide lta uh, hra food reimbursement which is 3000 rupees very good personal allowances vehicle maintenance 1500 uh, 15, uh, 1500 rupees and this all comes under reimbursement so this uh, this bucket benefit basically bob so this uh, comes under reimbursement and uh, people can save tax uh, with the reimbursement and they have performance bonus. So I'll come to that later. They also have retention bonus, which might be 80,000 or 1 lakh, 1.5 lakh based out of your salary. And city allowances would be somewhere around 1,000, 2,000, even 3,000 rupees. So based, uh, based on the location. So they usually give slightly higher in Bangalore, Mumbai, Pune. And now coming to the best part of TCS health insurance scheme, they provide uh, the best health insurance uh, in the industry, in the all service based company, they possibly provide the best insurance. So if you can see 6,000 will be uh, domiciliary expenses. So this amount will be a floater for each individual, like the employee and the dependent, they can claim 6,000 rupee, rupees OPD coverage. And there will be a floater coverage which will cover 14 lakhs. So 2 lakh will be the base coverage. On top of that, there will be 14 lakhs. So this will be defer uh, uh, designation to designation. So this is possibly gold plus uh, plan. But in the higher plan, you may expect this uh, to uh, floater will be slightly on higher side. And you can definitely uh, take choose one more, uh, uh, few more to like, you know, additional top up. And if you see uh, the good part of TCS, okay, so there is uh, 250 rupees um, TCS membership that will be deducted. And uh, and if you see there is a three months probation period in TCS. One more point is TCS does provide retirement at 60 years. So there are companies like uh, major uh, US service based companies like uh, Cognizant where I've seen like the uh, retirement age is 58 but here it is 60 and uh, if you are joining tcs you may have to uh, go through a, a small uh, like you know you need to basically bring a certificate from mbs doctor that you are fit and fine to join the uh, service so that is all and if you see this uh, fixed component this is a basically their uh, like uh, components and their breakup so fixed component is uh, is very low like they provide uh, basic basic salaries they are pretty low but they usually provide this one uh, like you know as part of uh, personal allowances or some other allowances they provide the entire salary and they have two kind of performance pay one is monthly performance pay and one is uh, this one performance bonus and if you see this is their uh, uh, bob Okay, now I'll show you one uh, salary breakup of TCS. So what happened if you selected in TCS, they will share this kind of a breakup. And once you accept that breakup, uh, they will share the final offer letter. So in that one, the ex employee has approximate 
eight years of experience and he offered 28 lakhs so this is a recent uh, uh, salary breakup and you see uh, the, the basic salary is pretty low but what they are doing in the personal allowances they are allocating the most of the salaries and they are also giving retention bonus so if people are staying at least one year in the year end they will get, get that this uh, like retention bonus so they are uh, offering 28 lakhs and this is not for Bangalore or Mumbai. This is a uh, salary from a uh, person uh, from Bhubaneswar. So this is not a Taiwan cities. So now coming to the question whether uh, this guy is getting 42 lakhs, whether this is authentic. So I do feel this is authentic. This is difficult, but this is not impossible because if you see this clause, Tire 3 and all branches. So this guy is from Tire 3 College. Tire 3 College means it's a private engineering college. But this guy has possibly done his uh, engineering uh, from Tire 2 College. And that is the reason that he offered a slightly higher salary. So at 9, 10 years, maximum 20, 28 to 30, usually TC is offered. But with Tire 1 and Tire 2, they hire, they offered slightly on higher side so 42 LPA is acceptable uh, if he is from tier 1 or tier 2 so possibly I have checked his college so he is possibly from a tier 2 college so definitely like what uh, he told in this Quora post uh, this one is correct I do feel it's correct and TCS does provide uh, slightly higher salary these days and uh, his question is whether he, sh he should opt for TCS or not and the answer is pretty much clear definitely he should opt for tcs if he's planning to work in a service-based company definitely tcs has like you know best i think uh, they have a lot of projects and in bangalore they are plenty of opportunities uh, they have on-site opportunities they have the best health insurance scheme all insurance scheme and they have other like you know brand values and everything is there there are a lot of other benefit like uh, all tata products they will give some additional benefits so definitely it's a good company and if a person is offered 42 with 9.4 years experience definitely he should join so that's all for now if you like this video do give us a thumbs up and uh, keep watching thank you